John! Hey! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Double XL. It's the only piece of clothing I still have. I like to keep that as a reminder of the journey. Hopefully I never fit into it again. But yeah, I just woke up one morning, decided I wanted to lose loads of weight. This was before I was even running. I wrote down a piece of paper, my weight and what my target was. I think I wanted to lose about two stone first. Um, I took a screenshot of it then on my phone and saved it as my wallpaper. So every time I turned on my phone, I had a reminder of what my target was. I stuck the paper version onto the fridge. So any time I went near the fridge, if I was thinking about making bad choices, I could see my target there. So like the way it just fell off me then, and then like I said, my colleague asked me that I want to do the Great Limit Run back in 2015, Jason. and. I just thought, yeah, sure, look, I, I, I wasn't a fan of running, I used to play soccer, I was a goalkeeper, so I didn't have to do too much running. So I, I think we seen the sign on the round, it was like seven weeks to go in Raheen, and um, we started we started um, getting ready for that, didn't we? We did our first run, and we did just about, about 9k, I think it just took us over, just over an hour to do, and it's like when I finished, I thought... No, this is actually not too bad because we were going a nice easy pace. I think that's what kind of made me actually enjoy it. Whereas, like when I was doing soccer and stuff, it was all sprints and everything. I'm not really a fan of that. But when I was running easy this time, I just actually enjoyed it. So it went from there. And I just found every week that I was training, I was kind of getting faster. And then we came into the Great Limit Run. I think I, I finished in, I don't know, 26 position or something, and I couldn't believe it, like, I, I ran 30, 40, something like that for a six mile, and I thought, you know what, I um, think I, I might be handy at this, like, so I kept it going in, I kept obviously working on my diet, and 
everything just went hand in hand in the way it, the way it came down and I've been lucky enough now to have some brilliant experiences with running whether it was mountain running uh, cross country running representing the Irish team the Irish masters team like it's probably my highlight um, obviously running 229 was my big goal like and after that I just want to finish off the majors decided in summer that I want to run 229 so I started training for that it would have made some nice nice vlog videos and stuff if I said this is what I'm going to do and show you my sessions and stuff but I just I just make stuff as I go along I have no coach I have no plan um I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow in my session it depends on work it depends on my shift it depends how I feel it depends if I get sleep and I didn't want to be doing that because I would be putting too much pressure on myself but I haven't posted in a while on um, Dylan McRunnen so I'm hoping that will change out going forward like because I've learned a lot in the last obviously couple of years from my running going from not running to running 229 and um, I hope to share some sessions with everybody who's trying to improve their times because I tried lots of different things myself in training and that's what it's all about like one session might work for you might not work for me so the best thing to do is in your races and your training is practice all these things your nutrition and your strategies and stuff because everyone everyone is different like and it's look it's your journey at the end of the day you gotta try those things all your training sessions 